I looked inside, I was hollow in the happiness department. And I said, I, I, gotta, I gotta get that. And so I started a transcendental meditation. A year ago this month, I was suicidal. I felt so low that I wanted to just not be here. I got pregnant at 13. And my mom, she got deported two years ago. Sometimes I cry because it's, it's just too much tension. We were attacked at this place called Buddha. The first night, I killed 14 people. The number of women and girls who are raped and tortured and killed in war-torn areas around the globe is literally beyond comprehension. My in-laws turned against me. They tortured me, almost killed me. I always thought I sort of had a low-grade depression here, but it really was. Ever since probably 10 years old, I'd just really been miserable with being myself. I was just so frustrated, full of misguided anger. I didn't know where to direct it to. I lost four members of my family, diabetes. I don't want that to happen to my people. Sorrow, anxiety, traumatic stress, depression, Hate, anger, rage, fear start to lift away. Life just gets better and better and better. But when it's calm and still, even what struggle becomes beauty. I used to say, I'm gonna get my grades up, I'm gonna do better. But yeah, it was just what I said. It never happened until I started meditating. I think every barrio, ghetto school in America has to have the fundamental right of having an opportunity to do this type of thing. Stay regular in your meditation. Don't let anybody take it away. And you will unfold your full potential. The kids love it. The kids in the West Bank love it. The kids in Brazil love it. I think this is what people need. They don't need high-minded talk so much as results. Speaking as a scientist, the amazing thing about transcendental meditation is the very well-established research showing that the technique impacts things that we didn't think were changeable. Since I started TM, my sugar's been where it should be. So I'm sold on TM. The initial research on the effects of transcendental meditation in treating PTSD offers so much hope better than many things being tried at far less a cost. Transcendental meditation saved my life. Today, I can say I am a meditator. I'm meditating uh, 37 years. I've been using it for uh, almost 40 years. It is the only time I have that stillness long enough that I, I open my eyes and I'm sad that it's 20 minutes later. If you take out time and just meditate and just let everything go, free your mind, everything will come together. Just this last month, I felt so much energy. It's been amazing. <laughs> All that feeling of heaviness, I could feel it melt away. It was absolutely transformational. I've found that there is an ever-present sanctuary within me. People tell me, you know, you look very calm, you look very relaxed. And there's not a whole lot of craziness. I'm just sitting there, calm. You know, and it, it's surprising even to me. I had a lot of problems in my life. And Tim came into my life and gave me, like, this open door to something that I never knew it would be. Those days, I used to cry too much. But now, they, even the tears are holding. I'm great. <laughs> it comes back to the core of who you are as a person and what you're made of, and you have to give yourself a chance.
Real change for the good truly begins within. Transcendental meditation can save lives and is going to save some more lives. And we just got to make sure everyone's aware.